Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. In today's video, we're going to be continuing our segment on the top 10 best players at each position. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the four, the top 10 power forwards. The power forward position has kind of changed over the past few years with how the NBA in general is changing. But the top 10 players in this list were able to conquer that position and create a version of their own. These top 10 power forwards are very impactful for their NBA teams. One thing's for sure though, the power forward now in the NBA, it's a very important position. The player playing it must be versatile and I believe these top 10 players are the perfect in this list. But quickly, before I get on with the video, I just want to say, if you're new to the channel and love basketball, welcome to Easy Buckets. My name is Zoom, and I make basketball videos every single day. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and click this button right here, the post notification bell, to not miss any of my upcoming videos. If you watched this video and you loved it, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, guys. I'd really appreciate it. It would help out the channel a lot. Just one more thing, I'm doing a big PS5 Christmas giveaway on my Instagram account. So if that's something you're potentially interested in, go check out easy.buckets, that is my Instagram name. All the information will be there. But without wasting any more time, let's talk about the top 10 power forwards in the NBA. When talking about the power forward position, I'll be honest, it's probably the least popular position out of the five. Everybody wants to be a point guard. Everybody wants to be a shooting guard. And when talking about a big man position, the center spot is definitely the most popular. In the NBA right now, the power forward position is slowly and quietly taking over the league. And when looking at the next face of the NBA, it might just be a player at that power forward position. These top 10 power forwards, you're gonna love them. At number 10, we got Kevin Love, guys. I'm talking about Kevin Love. He actually used to be one of the best power forwards. The top three, in fact. Ever since LeBron James left Cleveland, Kevin Love definitely has slowly fell off. He doesn't really have a partner. He hasn't really been competing for an NBA championship because the Cavaliers are a rebuilding team. But one thing's for sure, him alone as a power forward, his ability to score in the post and also spread the floor, he definitely deserves to be on this top 10 list. There are multiple rumors that in this upcoming season, the Cavaliers actually might trade Kevin Love to get assets because they are in a rebuild mode. And honestly, I would love to see that happen. I would love to see Kevin Love be a part of a championship contender once again, because he is getting older and why not get another championship? But as long as he's on the Cavaliers, I see him putting up 20 points per game and 11 rebounds. The next player on this list is Blake Griffin of the Pistons, and he's in the exact same situation as Kevin Love. He used to be a dominant power forward, arguably the best, but due to some injuries and due to his role and situation on the Pistons, his role, his stock, his value has definitely decreased, as right now he's playing for a very bad team. One thing's for sure though, when Blake Griffin is healthy and when he's on a roster and possibly a good rotation, I do see him being very beneficial and also being very impactful. He's still a dominant post player and has gotten better at the three point shot. He's definitely a top 10 power forward in the NBA, he just needs a better situation. The next power forward on this list is John Collins of the Atlanta Hawks guys and he's one of the best upcoming power forwards in the NBA. He's a young star on the rise. Last year for the Hawks alongside Trey Young, John had about 20 points per game and 11 rebounds and was very impactful to spread the floor and also was very impactful in the paint. John Collins is the perfect sidekick for a great NBA point guard and if Trey Young and him can both develop together, the Hawks have a bright future. The reason why I'm putting John Collins above Kevin Love and Blake Griffin is because he's younger, he has more potential and when he enters his prime, he's possibly going to make the top 5 list. At number 7, we got Zion Williamson, guys, a fan favorite. You know, a lot of NBA analysts and prospects believe that Zion is going to be the face of the NBA. He is, quote-unquote, the chosen one. And so far from what we're seeing from him in the NBA 2021 preseason, guys, Zion has been phenomenal. He had a 30-point double-double, a 28-point double-double, I believe. And Zion this year, he looks healthy and ready to prove to the world in NBA that he truly deserved to be the first overall pick in last year's draft. 
this year with the new coach of Stan Van Gundy, I believe he'll unleash Zion and put him in the best possible situation to succeed. And that's why I'm just super excited to see what Zion shows us in the 2021 season. At number 6, we got Draymond Green of the Golden State Warriors, guys. In my personal opinion, Draymond Green is actually one of my favorite power forwards because of the versatility that he brings offensively and defensively. When talking about the offense, he can space the floor, and more importantly, he's a power forward that can play make and can give out dimes at a very high level. We're talking about his defense. Draymond Green every single year, when he's healthy, he's a defensive player of the year candidate. And when he's on the floor, the Warriors get a boost at every single aspect. One thing's for sure, if Draymond Green can just stay healthy, he's definitely a top 5 power forward in the league for me. At number 5, we got DeMontis Sabonis of the Indiana Pacers, and he's definitely one of the new best power forwards. As last year, you know, ever since Miles Turner got injured, and you know, Oladipo got injured, Sabonis became the number one option for the Pacers. He became their power forward that can play make, but also be impactful in the paint. Sabonis made the all-star team last year as well, and he simply deserves to be on this top 5 list. I love what Sabanis brings. He brought the Pacers to the fourth seed last year in the NBA playoffs and in the NBA bubble. And with DeMontis being the center of Indiana right now, he's only going to get better. At number four, we got Kristaps Porzingis on the Dallas Mavericks, guys. We're talking about Porzingis. He's one of the best two-way players in the NBA because he is tall, but also has a great jump shot between the three-point line and also outside the three-point line. We're talking about Porzingis. He's known to be a consistent shot blocker with him being 7'3". It's hard for NBA players to get an easy layup with him hanging around the rim. Playing alongside Luka, they are the perfect duo as Luka can handle the rock but have a perfect master as a pick and roll partner. The only problem with Porzingis is that over the past few seasons, he's been hit with multiple injuries. So if Porzingis needs to get better, all he has to do is stay healthy, take care of his body. But other than that, Porzingis is a monster and is perfect as the fourth best. At number 3, we got Pascal Siakam of the Toronto Raptors, guys, and honestly, he's a no-brainer as the third best power forward in the NBA. When talking about Pascal Siakam and his Raptors playoff performance, he was absolutely terrible, I'll be honest, but that doesn't mean he falls on this list. Pascal Siakam is the best player on the Raptors right now and was a big part of why they actually came second in the Eastern Conference last year. And in this season, he's going to have to get better in order for them to continue being a playoff contender. Pascal Siakam is one of the most skilled power forwards. He has a very good sharp game. He has incredible footwork. And with him being very young, he's only going to keep getting better. And the Raptors future in his hands, they're still going to be contenders every year. Pascal Siakam over the past seasons have gotten better at that three-point shot. And once he masters that, oh boy, he's going to be a deadly power forward. The second best power forward in the NBA is Anthony Davis of the Los Angeles Lakers and it was a no-brainer that he will be on this list. Anthony Davis was the unstoppable force that gave the Lakers the 2020 NBA championship and with him only being 27 years old, he's just gonna keep getting better. Anthony Davis is a two-way player, can do everything on offense, can do everything on defense and the Lakers future is bright as long as he's in the center of it all. Him and LeBron James are unstoppable, with LeBron being the best small forward and AD being the second best power forward, this duo is unstoppable. But the first best power forward on this list, it's a no-brainer guys, it is Giannis Antetokounmpo guys, back-to-back -back MVP, potentially an NBA champion one day, and he just signed a huge contract with the Bucks. Giannis is very loyal, and honestly, as long as he's a Milwaukee Buck, he's gonna still be the best power forward, cause he's the guy in town. Even though Giannis does not have a jump shot, to me, he's still the best power forward. He does everything else at a consistent and amazing level. As of right now, he's working on his mid-range shot, his post fadeaway, and if he ends up mastering that, no one can literally guard him. As of right now, it's very hard to stop him in the paint. And with his dominance there, that's why I believe he's the number one power forward in the NBA. And there's no question about it. But yes, guys, this wraps up my video for today on the top 10 power forwards in the NBA. What's most important to me is what are your opinions? Do you agree with me? Do you not? What would you keep the same and what would you change? Put your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to not miss my last video for this segment, which is the top 10 centers. So be sure you guys stay tuned for that. 
But other than that, take it easy. God bless. And I'll see you all next time on Easy Buckets. Whoa!